Hey friends, welcome to another episode. Uh, this week I wanted to talk to you about um, organic versus non-organic. I know in a lot of my videos I mentioned that I buy organic foods, but there are some foods that you can get away with buying non-organic, and for a lot of people this is much better for the budget. Um, I have a list that I kindly printed off the internet for free. So there are the clean 15 and the dirty dozen. When shopping, I like to shop at Planet Organic uh, and mainly the farmer's market, um, Blush Lane. Uh, all of these stores have a wide variety of locally produced uh, foods, mainly Blush Lane and the farmer's market. Uh, but obviously you can't get everything at the farmer's market, so going to a store uh, is inevitable. Uh, I like I like Save On Foods because they do have a local area um, and down each aisle they actually have a highlighted um, green or organic selection and it's actually like highlighted via uh, green shelving so it's, it's easier to find. It's still important to read labels of course um, but this list is really interesting to me. So uh, the, the Clean 15, uh, we've got things from onions, sweet corn, pineapples, avocado, asparagus, sweet peas, mango, eggplant, domestic cantaloupe, kiwi, cabbage, watermelon, sweet potatoes, grapefruit, and mushrooms. Um, so you can get away with buying those uh, in non-organic forms. A lot of them do have a, a hard exterior skin that is non-digestible, so we don't eat it. So that's uh, important to, to be aware of. So those are the clean 15. Um, and then the dirty dozen, uh, things like apples, heavily, heavily sprayed, uh, especially in transport. Um, celery, strawberries again, same thing. The peaches, spinach, nectarines that are imported. Uh, lots of things get sprayed and are picked very early, so they spray them um, so that they don't ripen too quickly. Bell peppers, potatoes, domestic blueberries, lettuce, kale collard greens. Uh, these things, you can find a lot of them at the farmer's market, but uh, again, always find the certification to prove that they are, they are organic because they can just say so and they aren't. Um, pesticides are a carcinogen and they are a causal agent for cancer. If you're good to your body, your body will be good to you, and reducing the carcinogens is a major factor in preventative for disease. So uh, this week, if you look at these two lists, you can Google them, find them online, and just be aware of them when you're shopping. Uh, maybe keep a snapshot of it on your phone, and that will help you in the long run. Um, it's a little bit of a tip that I learned at school, and I totally agree with you know, not having to spend that little bit of extra money where you can. Uh, and But being a conscious being is being conscious about the system that we're currently in. And once we all put our money where our uh, morals are, our conscious purchasing um, will create a movement in reducing the costs for organic produce. Uh, you know, it doesn't make any sense as to why fast food is so cheap when it, it causes so much body harm uh, and in the long run costs the country so much in medical care for those people. So being a conscious being uh, is about being conscious about where you put your money and also what you put into your body. I, I hope this little um, blog inspired you to look a little bit further into pesticides and how they affect your body. And please let me know of anything that you'd like me to discuss, go through. Uh, this month coming up at school, I'm learning about the disease um, preventatives, so I definitely will have more for you. And I'm really excited about it. Uh, anatomy is intense, but I'm really understanding a lot more about the chemical biology makeup of the body, and uh, it's very interesting. So. Have a wonderful week. I hope I inspired you and please subscribe here. Look forward to seeing you guys. Bye.